I was fortunate that a very good friend could see something was wrong with me and guessed what it might be and flat out asked me if this is what was going on. And that's what it took for me to come clean on it. I, the shame was so deep about it that I didn't want to tell. I had never told anyone. And I had vowed I would take this to my grave without ever telling anyone. When I didn't really know what was wrong in my home, I just felt so crazy. I felt confused. There was a heaviness that I could not pinpoint. And I just, I just felt like this is, this is not living. This is not how I want my marriage and my family to be. We, there was a disconnect. There was some isolation and it was so painful, so incredibly painful. I think the best definition of addiction that I ever heard was not being able to get enough of something you don't like. That just rang, that just rang true to me. Uh, there's a lot of definitions, you know, the, the uh, 12 steps define addiction as something that causes your life to be unmanageable and something that you cannot control. Uh, and be that a substance or a behavior. And certainly pornography addiction falls under that category. You know, I became involved in this as a young preteen, quite accidentally, but it was something that just grabbed a hold of me. And so I was really lost in this for 30 years before I finally, you know, was willing to come clean and admit that I had something wrong. And uh, I think that helpless feeling, just being trapped in that so long, I, I didn't see how I could ever change. After a lot of prayer and thinking and soul searching, I knew I wanted to make this marriage work and I was willing to go down this road of recovery with him. So I approached him and I said, I want to stay in this marriage. I love you, I want our marriage, our family to be intact, but I'm not gonna stay unless you're in full recovery. You wouldn't send a drug addict or an alcoholic to once a week counseling. They need to be in a place where they can heal, where they can detox, and where they can get away from the everyday stressors of life to really work on themselves. Going through the process of recovery, having Jerry involved in her own recovery, and having a chance for our marriage to heal has been, looking back, an incredible journey. It wasn't easy, there was a lot of bumps along the way, and it, it was hard work, but in the end it was so, so worth it. Uh, we're so much more connected now than we ever were before, having traveled this road together. When Mark left residential treatment, we realized what our life's mission was, and it was to open Desert Solace. What we've done is create a place where men suffering from pornography addiction can heal. We use traditional clinical treatment methods, but also teach tools for developing a long-term healthy lifestyle. We have a professional chef on staff that cooks very nutritious meals. We do hiking, biking, meditative yoga. Uh, there's so many amenities here that are so wonderful for the whole person, where they can have a better quality of life. I've lived in Southern Utah for about 20 years and I just love it. Just the natural beauty and the open spaces is what I consider my home now. And there's just something healing about these red rocks. There's something healing about the atmosphere here. And I knew this is where I wanted to build a center. Because he made that complete commitment to take that on and work on this addiction, and that I took it on and worked on myself and that we worked on this together is the reason that our family is still together. It is that simple and it's that powerful. I totally believe in my heart that without residential treatment, this brain disease, this addiction cannot be healed. I believe that with all my heart. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing this. We are here to save marriages and to save families. That's why we're here.